welcome back. It's time to get motivated. However, I forgot something. We went up to the seventh floor. Uh, ninth floor? I went up to the ninth floor. There's a sticky note here that I don't remember being in the other game. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. It says BX. Could that be B10 on in the books, in the archives? All right, so we're in the stacks. This is A. A goes up to 10. B. BX. File cabinet BX. There's a piece of old paper here. See? Oh, this is new! This wasn't here the last time. Got an illustration. That is a sign of new new right there. Let's inspect that. Look. What does it mean? It's a bat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blood drops and nothing else. All right, so we gotta get motivated. Let's go and get motivated. Nope. Okay, so we gotta go just go back to the stacks. Oh, yeah, this. Yes. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, crap. Please, Dad, can I have that? You got a flashlight. You can equip or unequip quickly with T or Y. There we go. Okay. Uh, let me see something. I forget. There's battery life on this, right? Current battery level is zero. Battery count is zero. Great. Got a pencil. Just a note which reads, the flashlight is almost out of batteries, but still kind of works. Gotta make sure I check everything. I gotta get some batteries. Got a red book. It's a red book. The pages are blank. The book stand. Paper. It's a handwritten note dated 1983. I'm very lucky that the old man pulled me off the sixth floor to help him in the archives. Some people say he's a bit strange. They don't have any idea of the things I had to do before this. It's a wooden cart with an owl on it. It's got wheels. I can push it easily. She did. Batteries! Wait, did it automatically add the batteries to my... It did. Look. Battery count. I got two batteries. It's 99%. We don't need to use it, so, like, just yet. I want to save those batteries. Just keep an eye out for anything that looks unusual. Blue book. Nothing here. Owl. Green book. I can't take it out. Let me see something. If I do this, push it in the way of the uh, cart, I can break it. Nice. Green book. Green, blue, red is what I have so far. There's a yellow book here. Yeah. Yes. What? No, 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 no! Yes! What the hell? Was That wasn't there before. Was it? Okay. Green goes on 12, blue on 8. Green on 12, blue on 8. 13. Green on 12.
I think it was if I moved the owls. They would tell me where it's supposed to go. Red on two. How much battery power do I have? Nice. Yellow on 13. 13 is like right here, right? Yeah. Use. Please don't kill me. How much? Okay, we can take some... Ah. <sighs> Read it. It's a letter. It says, My friend, I would not trust any member of the club, of the company, more so now, as it slowly destroys itself. Anyone may be one of her children, and there's no way to know. We three are all who can be trusted. Signed, A.M. I push this over the other thing. I gotta, I gotta kill it. Witch paper! Check everything! Check this. Push. Battery power on the pencil. How are we doing? 49%. Let's not use that for a second. Read. It's a note. It says, The dagger in the hands of the crow. I pray that this nightmare ends. And I leave in your hands the report of his progress. Signed, A.M. Candy bar. Nothing else. Read. It's a letter. It reads, you could not have sent worse news. We must hide as soon as possible. And delete any record of our names. If she discovers our identities, we are lost. Signed, A.M. Yikes. Sorry. Blue. Check everything. Check battery power. It's going down slower. Batteries, nice. There's another. This is different. You got an illustration. You have to check everything. I don't see anything useful here, obviously. I'm gonna save. Yes. Blah. What are the illustrations for? These are new. These- I didn't see these in the first version of the game. There's somebody over here. Looks like a human body wrapped in a kind of chrysalis. It's sticky, and it stinks. Ugh. Th this thing is reading a book? It may be- Yes! It's Hexenhammer! Yeah. Mr. Mummy, if you don't mind, I need to take this book. Please don't wake up. At last, I can take this damn book to Sintra and then get the hell out of here. Sorry. We good. Close it. Close it? Guess not. My light just turned on by itself. Hello? I cannot let you take the old man's favorite book. Where are they?
Oh, there they are. Ah, damn it! They went the way that... There. I gotta lead them into the mines, I think. That's not what I had to do. I think I had to go close to it and like set it off or something. There's one. I took a little bit of a hit. Let me check my health. I need a little more health to be able to do this. I'm gonna eat the grilled cheese. Get that good health. Look at all that good health. And drink coffee. Where is he? If he gets me, it's like game over. Need another mine. There's one right here. Two. Right there. Come on, bitch. Where you going? Come on. Come on. Come on! I think it's gone. I had to sacrifice health for it, but it was worth it. Don't get yourself killed, man. <laughs> He's just like, mm hmm. <laughs> All right, health wise, I'm okay. Battery wise, hella batteries, good amount of pencils. Look at this 3% just made out. I think I can't remember. I think there was another way of hitting him. I think you were supposed to push the carts into its body and then hit it like that. But I did the old-fashioned GSD brute force your way through, sacrifice a little bit for the greater good kind of way. Hey, uh, where am I going? Five. Everybody's gone. Where ass everybody? Oh, wait. Are they in the meeting? Let me, uh, make some coffee first. Cup of coffee. Nice. That'll come in handy. So how many coffee beans? I got two beans. Slice of cheese, four bread, three coke, two coffee. Yeah. Don't drink the water. I got the book! Here's the book! Use hex and hammer. Excellent work, Mr. Pasternak. No, no, no. No more Mr. Pasternak. Is something wrong? Look, Sintra, I've come face to face with a kind of mechanized man spider that was throwing bombs with eyes at me, and there was a mummy in the dark, and... 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 And, well, this isn't for me. I'm not gonna fit in here. I thought this was going to be a normal office job, checking papers and going out for coffee at mid-morning. I understand how you feel, Mr. Pasternak. We know that this is not an easy task, and that you have a special responsibility within the company. On behalf of Sintracorp, I would like to convey our full confidence in your capabilities. I would also like to inform you that I personally see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Sintracorp. As reward for your work, you will receive a bonus of 1,000 credits, which I will transfer to your account now. Thousand big ones, baby! If you like, 
Let's have a look at the contents of this book. Aha! Interesting! Reading completed. This is a book from the 15th century which was created to identify and hunt witches. As language has changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. First, where to find a witch. Witches make their lairs in places which have a deep meaning or a bond to their lives. Although their hiding places are often separated from urban centers, thanks to their human appearance, they can infiltrate, infiltrate, ah! they can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. Dang, man, what's wrong with me? How to recognize a witch. Witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil. They transform and manipulate men, steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes of, or followers. Among them are the co are the so-called familiar spirits, companion animals that carry out their orders. Any woman can be a witch, since one of their powers is transmigration, the ability to swap bodies with another. And finally, how to kill a witch. Although fire is the most effective method to eradicate the majority of witches, there are tales of exceptionally powerful witches throughout history who have proven to be immune to flames. According to my records, in fact, our witch was burned alive several decades ago. However, her curse has continued to spread throughout the company. According to the book, the only way to put an end to the most powerful witches is to use a special ritual dagger called Athame. This weapon of great power can ha also have a deterrent effect, warding witches away from the wielder. This all sounds like a fairy tale. What do you mean? Well, everyone knows witches don't exist. And if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. They're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, you want me to go question women all over the company and try stabbing them with a knife? I'm perfectly sure that would also kill people who aren't witches. It's clear, really clear, that something strange happens in this company. But I doubt very much that the problem will be solved by using a witch hunting guide book from 500 years ago? Can't you see that doesn't make any sense? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to put my life on the line for this. Again, I'll just go to my office and I'll sit in my chair and I won't disturb anyone. You're sitting in your office right now. What was that? That is an event plant. Leave the session as soon as possible. Brian, remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Wait, did you call me Brian? Jesus! You! What are you still doing here? I, I... I... Oh, mon dieu! Get your ass to the meeting room. Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on. What are you? You're the lowest of the low. I doubt it! What are you? We're garbage. My horse's ass smells better than you do. You're shit, but what should you be? The best. What? The bestest of the best. And how are you going to achieve this? With work. I don't want your dirty work. What else do you have? Our blood. <laughs> Let's see. Mr. Hugo, come closer. Hugo, what are you? I'm the lowest of the low. Well, I didn't know the lowest smelled like a sewer. It's because I'm garbage. That describes you better. But what should you be? The best. What? The bestest of the best. 
I see. And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. But you're a bum, Mr. Hugo. What else do you have? With my blood. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You can go back to your place. Today, I want to talk to you about something very important. A legend that you all know. I want to tell you about the witch. The witch is among us, comrades. And she has the form of a woman. I don't consider myself sexist. <laughs> but it's like that. It's a fact. It could be that lady you chat with about the weather in the elevator. The girl you drink coffee with. Len pens too, or maybe you send her a fax. It's in triplicate. But Colonel, everyone knows witches aren't real. Oh yeah? Yeah? Let me tell you something about what happened to me a few weeks ago. Dada and I were in the canteen, chatting with friends, having a snack. They were all, they were our well-earned 15 minutes of rest. When I realized sacre bleu, it was more than half an hour since we came down. We had to get back to our job as soon as possible. We don't get paid for drinking coffee. We all crowded into the elevator and hammered the button to our floor, hoping that the evil machine would move faster. The elevator went up to our floor at the turtle's pace, and just before the floor doors opened, kill mal chance! The elevator was blocked. No matter how hard we pushed it, the doors wouldn't open. I tried in vain to calm us all down. These setbacks are normal. It was only a matter of time before it worked again. But the truth was it didn't succeed. My desire to get out of there and reach my destination grew exponentially every second. Not just me. I saw Dada suffered from the same exasperated anguish. Something ran up my spine. Silky lips, a woman's lips, kissed me on the cheek, and in that very moment, the lights went out. Without light, people exploded into chaos. Everything started, everybody started shouting, pushing, shoving, hammering on the doors to get out. And then we heard a sound. Like a razor blade cutting through an eyeball, that sharp sound went through my entire nervous system. At that moment, we all knew that death had come to take us away. That she, the witch, was among us. Around me, I began to hear the cries of pain from my companions. It was a slaughterhouse. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. Mon Dieu, pourquoi? I cried. Then a miracle happened. The doors opened and let the heavenly light from my floor enter. This caused Dada to awaken from the trance and, like an unconscious spark, he took a great leap out of the elevator and escaped from that nightmare. <laughs> Good horse, Dada. A great sigh of relief came from our lungs. We were safe. But our, but just before the doors closed, covering up that whole massacre, Icy lips hissed their way up my spine again, this time to my ears, and they whispered three words to me. Three words I'll remember all my life. Work, work, work. What did she say to me? Work, work, work. I hope you learn not to loiter in the canteen, or you know what's waiting for you. All right, all right, all right. You lot are looking good today. Now then, I think we have a new recruit. It's me. Yeah, you. You. What's your name, boy? Um, hi. My name is Pasternak. Kid, you see this horse? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. His name is Dada, and he replaces all my virile impotence. I don't have to prove anything when I'm on Dada. I am a superior being. I'm Charlemagne. But you, though, down there, you're nobody. And if you don't make yourself noticed, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't... Look, come closer. Drop that briefcase. You don't need to hide behind any shields. 
Be a man, for God's sakes. For God's sake. Well? Uh, well? Your name? Ah, uh, yes. My name is Pasternak. Pasternak. Did you know that your last name is of Jewish-European origin? Uh, no. It means parsnip. From this moment on, that will be your new name. Parsnip. Parsnip. Boy, I see you need motivation. N no, just, I'm super motivated. With each failure, you lose 200 credits. What? <laughs> Parsnip, what are you? I'm the lowest of the low. Ugh, my horse can't stand your stench. I'm garbage. But what should you be? Best. What? I didn't hear you! The best of the best! And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. That's not enough, Parsnip. What else do you got? My blood! Well, 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 well! Since you're new, I'll give you a motivational task for your initiation. <laughs> you, you don't have to, really. It's alright, it's a favor I'm doing for you. You sure need a little push. What could it be? Let that at you, Skirtle, like in the old days. What a great idea! Let Dada decide! Let's see, Dada. On what motivational task can we send the parsnip? Bleep. Oh! What a great idea! Is this for real? Sacre bleu! Dada has been benevolent and given you an easy task. Pasternak, you'll have to make a friend in the office. Hmm. But what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought I heard it must be someone from the fourth floor from the hive. Splendid! In this case, synergies will be generated between floors. Dada, my friend, you're a genius! Is that clear to you, Parsnip? I have to make a friend in the hive. Perfect! And that concludes today's motivational session. Now, get to work! Dang. Barsnip! Here, you left your briefcase in the conference room. Got your briefcase? Ah, oh, thank you. I'm still a little out of sorts after everything that just happened. <laughs> it's normal. It's best to play along. You'll get used to it. And I'm glad I did the horse trick. The colonel's mad as a hatter. Who knows where he would have sent you. Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there, and who knows? They might raise your salary. Or they might even change your job. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, the, the other one's there. Hold on, he had my briefcase, right? There's nothing in here that should not be. Ah! That. A paper figure, shaped like a person's silhouette. I knew it. I. Th These pictures, though, I don't. I don't understand what the pictures are for. I got to keep all my money! Oh, blessed. Hey, and pencils? I can buy stuff! I don't want to buy that just yet. Nope. But I want the box. Yes. One cardboard. There's no more of that left. Hey! Hello! Mappy. She can't hear me. She's listening to music. I can't hear you. I'm listening to music. If you want to buy something, take it and leave the money. Uh, okay, thanks. Again, I can't hear you. Sell supplies. <gasps> Wait! This is different. This is new. I would never sell the box. That's crazy. Exit. But I, I do want the, the pencils. 100 credits for a pencil. Take another one. Take a, a coffee. Dang. That's... Wait, what? 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 The pencils are important. 
the box is most important for shortcuts. You need the box. Uh, let me in my office. So sorry, we friends. Come on. Colonel Dumont and the witch. All that stuff Dumont said about a witch. That what was that all about? I knew you were gonna ask me about that, Pashanak. I hope the colonel didn't freak you out. There's a legend that's been going around for a while now that there's a witch in the company. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't tell you about it because I didn't want to scare you even more on your first day. But I have to tell you, I've known who the witch is for a long time. I can feel her presence right now. She's very, very close to us. Where are you hiding, the broom, Sosa? Hey, seriously now. I know people say that the lower classes are more superstitious, but you wouldn't believe all that bullshit, would you? Well, me? Well, of course not. Exit. Should I go and talk to... I should. Hey! Colonel Dumont. I went to the motivational meeting. Oh my gosh, that guy's out of his mind. And after everything else today, I don't even think I'm surprised. The meetings have been organized to boost your productivity and emotional worth within the company. Just so you know, he sent me a task. Supposedly I have to make a friend on the fourth floor. I see. Do you want a hug? What? Hug is the term for a direct discharge of oxytocin to your neurotransmitters, which is the same as a real hug with a duration of 20 seconds. It, it's not necessary, thanks. Then I ask you to prioritize the elimination of the witch. Motivational tasks are not mandatory. Don't forget what we hired you for, Mr. Pasternak. Oh! Yes? You called me Brian before, and now you've called me Mr. Pasternak again. Probably. Sorry for the mistake, Mr. Pasternak. No, 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 call me Brian, please. Mr. Pasternak sounds like my father. On the outskirts, the first name is always used for young people, not the surname. Debug the error. As you wish, Brian. Eh, uh, we... The identity of the witch until now is, uh... It's not useless. According to the company employee log, 75% of the employees are males, so you can concentrate your search on just 25% of the people in this building. This one is, the witch is immune to fire, the only way to kill her is with a ritual dagger. A theme, until now, we haven't had any information about the whereabouts of the weapon. Okay, next. The witch is lair, for now, the only thing we know is that it's a place that has some sentimental value for her. Cool. All right, so we gotta go make a friend. But we'll do that in the next episode. So, let me check this for a second. Four pieces of paper. We're getting these weird things, though. This is new. I got some money just for later. But what are those pictures all about? I didn't save. We should do that. Let's go and save. All right, I guess we're gonna go and make a friend now.